guys you're welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi Bike Crown so guys we're gonna be checking out this video together titled 10 biggest reasons Muslim says Islam is true all right guys let's watch like many other religions the followers of Islam called Muslims believe that the religion of Islam is true and it's also the only true religion in this episode I'll be looking at 10 of the biggest reasons why Muslims say Islam is true. Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and for this one, I want you to watch it all the way to the end so you don't miss any of these reasons. Okay, starting at number 10, the Quran claims to be the word of God. The Quran is a holy book of Muslims and it claims to be the direct word of God or Allah revealed in the Arabic language to a man who was unable to read or write and he's known as Prophet Muhammad. Also, it says that there's no errors in the Quran. In Surah 12 verses 2 of the Quran, it says, Indeed, we have sent it down as an Arabic Quran that you might understand. Also, the Quran says this, This is the book about which there is no doubt, a guidance for those conscious of Allah. And that's taken from Surah 2 verses 2. Next up, number 9, the preservation of the Quran. Although the book was revealed over 1400 years ago, it is believed by Muslims to have been perfectly preserved and to make a claim that a book would be completely preserved until the end of time is a very big mm -hmm. claim but we find this statement in the Quran indeed it is we who sent down the Quran and indeed we will be its guardians and that's taken from Surah 15 verses 9 okay another one has to do with science and this is a formation of the embryo the Quran mentions in detail the formation of the human embryo and this is something that cannot be seen except if you use some sort of microscope but this is unbelievable because 1400 years ago, you know, how would somebody have known this? So the Quran has a statement that says, and certainly did we create man from the extract of clay. Then we placed him as a sperm drop in a firm lodging. Then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot and we made the clot into a lump of flesh and we made from the lump bones and we covered the bones with flesh. Then we developed him into another creation. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. And this famous passage comes from Surah 23 verses 12 to 14. Mm. Another big reason why Muslims believe Islam is true is that millions of people have mm. memorized the Quran. In Surah 54 verses 17 it says, and we have certainly made the Quran easy for remembrance. So is there any who will remember? And the Quran, by the way, consists of over 600 pages and over 70 7,000 words yet still there's millions of people around the world who have memorized the entire wow. Quran literally from cover to cover so they can of course recite it pretty much without making any mistake moving on to number six everything is in pairs this takes us to another scientific belief that is mentioned in the Quran the Quran specifically mentions that everything is made of pairs today we actually know that all matter is in pairs Cheers matter and antimatter, electrons and protons, and so on. When we look in the Quran, Surah 36, verses 36, it says, Glory to him who created in pairs all things that the land produces, and their own kind, and other things of that they have no knowledge of. That takes us to the halfway mark of this episode. Really hope you guys are still watching. Coming up, we have five more reasons to go, but I just want to take this time to mention our members. Thank you guys so much for your monthly contributions to us on FTD Facts. It really helps us to produce even more videos like this. So if you guys are really enjoying our content, consider becoming a member where you can help us produce even more and reach even more people with our videos. Any help you offer is greatly appreciated. It does go a long way. And the link where you can become a member is below in the video description section. From there, we move to number five in this episode, the big challenge. Say, if mankind and the jinn gather gathered in order to produce the like of this Quran, they could not produce the like of it, even if they were to each other assistance. And now this challenge is found in Surah 17 verses 88. We have another similar challenge in the Quran and it goes like this. Or do they say he invented it? 
say, then bring ten surahs or chapters like it that have been invented and call upon your assistance, whomever you can besides Allah, if you should be truthful. And that's found in Surah 11 verses 13. Mm. The reason at number four is the reason of observational proofs. The Quran points people to observe things that can actually be seen or points to things that would need some research to really learn more about it. So for an ancient text to be able to state certain things about our world and the universe at a time where people lacked certain tools that can allow them to explore and observe these things, well, it's mind-blowing for Muslims. Surah 21 verses 32 in the Quran says, And we made the sky a protected ceiling, but they, from its signs, are turning away. This, by the way, is one of many that mention observable proofs. But from there, we move on to number three. Islam is a way of life. This is a big reason why Muslims believe that Islam is true. Beyond just a religion, it's a guidance for all yes. aspects of life, especially when it comes to economic guidance, social guidance, guidance for every aspect of human existence, including things like sleep, you know, cleaning yourself, how to use the bathroom, how to walk, how to talk to people, mm. how to deal That's with people of the opposite gender, how to give to charity, how to eat, how to drink, and the list goes wow. on. Pretty much every aspect of human life, you can find it in Islam. The reason at number two is the proof for God is found in Islam. Now, when we look into the Quran, we find a passage that says this, were they created by nothing or were they creators of themselves or did they create the heavens and the earth? Rather, they are not certain. Mm. And you can find this in Surah 52 verses 35 to 36. So either humans already existed or they brought themselves into existence or they were brought into existence by something or someone else. There really only leaves one option available. So Muslims view this as a huge proof mm. for God. And this is one of the reasons why they believe Islam is true. Now, number one, prophecies. There's many prophecies mentioned by the Prophet Muhammad, but just going to be looking at a couple. There's going to be widespread usury or interest. And this is what the Prophet Muhammad has been reported to have said, according to the Hadith. A time will come over the people when they will consume riba or usury or interest. They asked him, all of them? He said, whoever does not consume it will still be reached by its dust. Now there's another Hadith that we find this statement in. He, the man, asked, when will the hour be? He, the Prophet Muhammad, said, the one who is being asked about it does not know more than the one who is asking. He, the man, asked, then what are its signs? He, the Prophet, said, when the slave woman gives birth to her mistress and when you see barefoot naked destitute shepherds competing in constructing tall buildings and this of course is linked to the middle east where they're constructing various tall buildings and competing to see who can build the biggest structures there so guys that brings us to the end of this episode this was a brief look at 10 of the biggest reasons why muslims say islam is true thanks for joining me here for another episode oh wow <sighs> well I will point out a few things I learned from his explanation. Number one is the fact that they know how to memorize the Quran. That's one thing I love so much about Muslims, the way they recite the Quran, the way they, they can actually memorize almost every chapter. And you know, maybe because because they do more of recitation, that's why it's easier for them to memorize a lot of chapters in the Quran. That's one thing I love so much about them. They are so dedicated when it comes to that. And um, the next one he spoke about is the way of life, that Islam is a way of life. And it's true, you can see it in their behavior, in their dressing, especially in their dressing, yeah. A true Muslim, if you want to know a true Muslim, you will see it in the person's appearance. The where the person would dress, the, the ladies who wear their hijab, the men, they're always with their heart, you know. There's a particular way, way they dress, you know. Some men love to wear jalamia, some women, you know, they wear long dresses. And 
the way they talk the way they eat you can actually see it from them because they don't eat anyhow they, they don't behave just anyhow so he said a lot of things but the prophecy he didn't explain much about the prophecy but i've actually reacted to a video concerning the prophecy no 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 that should be miracle sorry that's miracles miracles okay i've never i don't think i've reacted to video about prophet Muhammad giving prophecy but i've reacted to a video where has um he did some miracles you get and uh if you've not watched it please kindly check it out this is a very interesting fact it's a very 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 interesting fact but what me i would say is that islam is not only the true religion yes islam is true but it's not only the true religion because most muslim believe that islam is only the true religion that's what i'm saying it's not only the true religion we also have christianity you get it it's just that the way you guys want some christians to be is not the way we we show it because of a christian doesn't cover her head a true christian they really dress well and the manner at which they talk they respect people a lot but you hardly see us cover our hair you know but that doesn't mean the person is not a true christian you get what i'm saying but all me i will say is that muslim is not only the true religion so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one stay blessed bye